the solo or whatever you call that I just winged it um, it was done with this Les Paul custom it's from 1979 it's got the Shaw pickups in it and I've had this guitar for many 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 years and I love it I got quite a few guitars all the rhythm tracks you're hearing was done with a 78 Les Paul special I'll show you the only amp used for everything you hear on this track is this Marshall. It's a 1981 first year JCM 800 original speakers mic'd with a Royer R121 and an SM57. Phase correct. Those two mics are going through these original uh, Neves. Here's the tracks. the drums I record these how I usually do if you are see my other videos this was done in my fireplace room though that's the only really difference I've been doing lately same mic preamps and microphones that I usually use 57s on snare uh, FET 47 on outside kick let me see here Tom's 421s overhead left and right is 451 E's my rooms was a stereo pair of uh, SM 81s they worked out good here we go Now, the only reverb you hear or effects on the drums is the PCM60 going through Echo 2. I dial in how much that I want, depending on. I apologize, you're hearing everything through the GoPro microphone, which I'm sure you're hearing phasing and not what I'm hearing. But uh, we'll do the best we can. And I will put uh, a mix of the song, a quick mix that I do. It's not a song, it's just something I did stupidly quick. Um, so that's the drums when you're going through these old consoles every time you bus every time you send an echo or a cue for reverb or compression or whatever you're going through different amplifier stages so that's what consoles have that summing mixers don't a combined effect of a shit ton of transformers that equal the sound the color that we like Bye. So what I did here for the bass, I have the EQ engaged, um, and then I am going through Q2, hitting the SBX90 and returning it to this these two tracks here that say SBX90. And it's given it that 90s type. You've heard this, SBX90 is an awesome classic reverb. You've heard this on many, many 90s records. Um, I'm gonna take it out I don't know if you'll be able to notice it on the GoPro but we'll try it here here's it with the effect without now I don't got that much dialed in there's a uh, phasing effect here's more of it All the guitars, of course the drums, I use multiple preamps, and you can see those in my other videos. All the guitar, rhythm guitars, and all the bass was, the bass was DI'd into this Brent Avril Vintage API 312. I got a Huntington, all original API 312. It was just DI'd in, okay? And then it go, went straight through the burls to Pro Tools. So I'm treating it on the ass end. Um, I got, like I said, I have high passed at 65, and I am have the decapitator on it. That's it, bypassed. Uh, 
cheap plug-in, good plug-in. It does the thing. It just adds a little bit of grit, and I'm not using a lot of it, just slightly. A um, little bit of low cut, a little bit of high, and that's about it. Just adding a little bit of dirt to the base because I tracked it with the DI, and I wanted to give it a little more attitude. Besides that, you got the base here, EQ, and one other thing. I am, the base is also going through the bottom DBX 160 XT down there. I'll bypass that. That's it with it bypassed. I'll tell you about the DBX 160 XT between the VUs. The VUs have a full butter full sound and the XTs have more of a grit to it. If you clip an XT, you'll get, if you're familiar with the decapitator, it sort of got that type of sound if you really uh, run it into distortion. So bass and drums together with the EQ and all effects. Here we go. Take those away i added a third guitar which is the same thing up the center here's all three together uh the difference on the third guitar is i am using the eq on the board the other two i'm not so let's hear it with and without the eq here is the center guitar EQ. Here's EQ. That's without the EQ. So you could hear the attitude it gives. This is it without. And this is it with. Another thing I'm doing with these guitars, which is this guitar track, one, two, three, is you see these here, I am bussing to an auxiliary track and I'm adding ever so slightly, I'm doing this in the box now, um, and returning it to my echo returns. So what I'm doing is taking those three guitar tracks, bussing it through an auxiliary track with two things on it, the Valhalla reverb, and besides that, I have a Renaissance EQ. What I'm doing with this EQ is I am high passing at 90, 92 and I am boosting around 10 kilohertz, a little bit above 10 kilohertz, 1 dB. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm I want to add I got the re, the ver, reverberation from the reverb ever so slightly under these guitars and I wanted to I didn't want the muddiness of it, and I wanted to add a little bit of the top end, and you'll hear that here when I take it away. So this is the guitars, rhythm sections. Out. This is it with. So what I'm doing, again, is coming out. Uh, my outputs of the burls 27 and 28 I'm not returning it to channels to where I could play with it during the mix so much I'm returning it to my echo one uh, three and four on my board I have four echo returns one two two three four and those tracks are being returned to three and four sometimes I do do reverbs and uh, other stuff for vocals delays in the box and I'll return those to one and two and uh, they're just you patch them in however you want it. Whatever you want to return to it, you can. That's the great thing about having a board. So that is what I'm doing with the guitars there. And another thing I'd like to show you guys about the board, which is an awesome feature. Two different ways to monitor off this board. The long throw faders and these fader pots, this row here, are uh, just potentiometer faders. It's a different monitor path. You could select one at a time or 12 at a time, 
if you want to use both ways. Or you could hit re uh, sorry tape, and now you're now monitoring off the rotary pots. So I uh, will show you an example of that. You just heard the mix. This is on the long throws. <laughs> My fader doesn't work for the solo because I'm now on the rotary pot fader. It's now on the rotary pot. And you can do that for the whole mix. So essentially I could have a mix set up for a band and I can monitor my tape machine just using these as my, uh, or have a separate mix set up if I wanted to. And this is a quad bus console. So that means left, right, stereo left and right, and front and back. So there's two, two mixed buses, and it's all off this um, front back FB pod here. Um, I have it to the front. And the reason why I have it to the front is I have this board modified with a couple different things. Um, Bova op amps I have on my front bus my stereo left and right and then the regular 2001s I have on my rear bus and it's awesome and you can blend between the two and they they sum together at the end all four sum together and come out of stereo left and right which is awesome so my three different monitor options I have my big Genelix my small Genelix I also have a pair of vintage 70s regular home speakers back here and I switch between the, the three. Well, these two speakers I switch with this toggle switch here. Big Genelix, small Genelix. And then this pot, it would be like my uh, studio pot. This is my control room pot that I adjust the monitors with. And this is my studio pot where it would play back for the band uh, in their, their tracking room. So you have the big Genelix. <laughs> The small Genelix. And it's all right here at this toggle. Now I could turn those off all the way and now we'll listen to the Fisher speakers behind me. Let me mute out that solo. Because it's. Mm -hmm. Now, this is awesome because when I flip it to here, you're flipping it to a home stereo system. And if you're getting it sounding good on there, let's hear just the drums on there you know you're on the right path. Awesome stereo image right here. Add some bass. You can really hear that phasing. Phaser. Guitars. Everything's coming across really good. It's translating well. This board translates really well. And at this point, let's hear it all together. <laughs> <laughs> 